Hi, I'm Barry Prentice with the University of Manitoba. Our CAN Infra Challenge proposal is the electric airship transportation system. Roughly 70% of Canada's landmass has no roads, and not much hope of getting roads. It's 7 million square kilometers with some 292 communities that depend on fly-in services from small airplanes. And of course, it's a treasure chest of minerals that are waiting to be developed. We know they're there, we just can't get to them. Transportation innovations are transformative. What you can see on the one side is the stone fort and the, and the fur trading village at Winnipeg before the arrival of the railway. Once the railway came, we had a tremendous burst of growth and within some 30 or 40 years, it was becoming known as the Chicago of the North. Airships could do for the North what the railways did for Western Canada and they are uh, the uh, solution to the 21st century transportation. Airships today are very different than they were in the past. Uh, we have lightweight materials, computer-assisted engineering, hyperelectric power systems, advanced avionics, weather forecasting. All the components that you see for an airship today are things that are already proven and on the shelf and could be used and certified for aviation to build a modern airship. Of course, we only carried passengers in the past, and uh, that is a different thing than carrying cargo. Uh, as you can see, airships can land without any people holding ropes on the, on the ground, but they still have to have some way of facing into the wind, and as the wind changes, the airship will move. And of course, uh, this is okay for a few passengers, but for moving freight, if you had a, an issue like the Los Angeles where a gust came along and lifted it up, this would be a disaster. What we propose is the BART, a buoyant aircraft rotating terminal. The airship will land vertically onto this turntable, and then once it's on the turntable, anybody who's on the turntable with the airship, of course, will be safe uh, because if the airship turns, they will turn with it. It can also be the source of, of ballast, of fuel storage, and ground power, all the components necessary for a modern transportation system to transship goods from the airship to trucks. Transport in the north is very expensive. The workhorse of the north is this Cessna caravan. It costs about $2 a kilogram to move freight and within about 300 kilometers distance. Uh, the buoyant aircraft, you see, uh, our cost for a 15-ton airship would be less than a dollar a kilogram. And of course, we'd be able to move things that aren't able to be moved very well in uh, small airplanes, like low-density products, as well as oversized or awkward freight. Transportation costs in the north are high because the cost of infrastructure is extremely high. Uh, this is a picture on the one side of the road from Inuvik to Tuktoyuktuk to serve some 898 people. It cost $300 million to build and took about three years. That's an average cost of three million a kilometer or $335,000 per person. In contrast, the airship, which could be built for roughly the same money, uh, would allow us to serve eight communities in Northern Ontario with 7,500 people at an average cost of about $40,000 per person and of course after that serve the whole north. Innovations in, in transportation are transformative and the airship is a big project, a big idea both literally and figuratively. It's nation building in scope. It'll provide connectivity to 70% of our landmass that has no roads. It's innovative, a zero carbon form of transport for both freight and passenger transport. The economic impact would be very significant uh, we would expand manufacturing here in the south and, of course, resource development in the north, as well as a new export industry. The social impact would be very substantial. The people in the north face very high food prices, two and a half to three times what we pay, and this, of course, would lower the cost for people living in the north, as well as security in the sense that they won't depend on these uh, ice roads which are uh, melting because of, carb of climate change. <coughs> Air transport and northern development are federal responsibilities. Uh, the government needs to step up and create a regulatory framework. We need that multi-user infrastructure, the landing pads and some uh, hangars in order to do the public research and testing and provide the incentives for the private sector to get involved. In this case, the government must be able to row as well as steer. What you see in the picture here is an airship, the Norge. It was the very first aircraft across the North Pole. Uh, this was almost 100 years ago. Airships can work in the cold, and of course we need a solution for the North. It's not rocket science, it's just balloon science. I hope you'll join me in supporting this project.